Can I get a what, what? I'm just kidding. What's up, everybody? It's the Crypto Crow. I uh, want to tell you about some little, little, little something, little something called Theta Token. Uh, this is actually something that I'm pissed that I did not buy at ICO, even though I planned on it. And I even told you guys that I was looking into it in, in some previous videos. And I, I, I guess I forgot. <laughs> and then I saw, I saw that it hit exchanges and I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. So, um, yeah, I, Theta Token, man, this looks really cool. And uh, right now, so I bought it today. Um, I posted on my Patreon that I was buying some. I just basically said, hey, I, you know, I'm buying, I'm buying, I bought 7,650 7, of them at 28 cents, and then it went up to 29 cents already. And when I first started buying them, they were 27 cents. But unfortunately, the only real exchange you can buy these puppies on is this Hubio, Hubi, Huibi. Why do these exchanges have to have such stupid names? I don't get it. I, maybe they're references to something. Maybe this is a space reference. Huibi? Huibi? I don't know. Anyway, this, this exchange is, is admittedly a pain in the ass. Uh, because everything that you do when you're working on this exchange, you have to do an email verification. For whatever reason, I had to do like four or five email verifications from the time I set up my account to the time I actually transferred my uh, Theta tokens to my Ether wallet. And yes, this does work on the ERC-20 blockchain, or uh, ERC-20 wallet, so my Ether wallet works um, fine to store this. So anyway, um, and, and there really aren't many options to buy Theta uh, outside of that. You've got this Oki which you can't use if you're in the U.S., Singapore, a whole bunch of other places. And then Gate, I don't even know what Gate is, but you, it doesn't have a, a Bitcoin pair, so I didn't bother. And so you guys understand, um, before I get even deeper into this, uh, I have, I just set up a brand new clean slate. I downloaded the latest version of Profit Trailer and the latest ver version of Profit Feeder, and I've got 0.6 Bitcoin working in there. Um, and it's, and, and so, and basically what I'm doing is I'm using the bot right now. And this is what I did. Now I have not right, right in the bot in like a week because I haven't been sure what the hell was going to happen with Bitcoin. And I've been, um, I'm going to do another video. I might actually do one right after this one. Cause I've, I have asked, I've been asking people, um, who are using profit trailer, profit feeder to post screenshots of some of their daily gains. And I saw one dude made 1800 bucks and he had like 0.6 Bitcoin in there. And I'm like, beautiful. He's like, had a great day. And I'm like, uh, yeah, you sure as hell did. But it's funny because that's exactly what I said when I told everybody I had like two, two Bitcoin and, uh, or like two, uh, 2.2, 2.3, whatever it was, but it never fell below like 1.6. It didn't use the whole budget. I still made like 1500 bucks that day. So profit trailer, profit feeder, very good pair, and I and I and I'm using a brand new set of settings. So I wanted a clean slate, clean everything. Um, right now, it's made like two trades. So I'm gonna do a video right after this one. Uh, by the time you're watching it, I'll probably be uploading this new profit trailer video to show you guys what I'm doing. But uh, but anyway, what I'm ultimately doing is I'm using profit trader um, or profit trailer to. Um, to generate money and then the difference, you know, after like a week or so, I'm gonna buy, I buy another coin. And that's pretty much what I just did. I just took some of my profit from Profit Trailer and I bought Theta tokens with it. So, you know, when you talk about gains, it's almost like in a way, I mean, obviously with the taxes, you're gonna have to work that out. Um, but ultimately I'm using the bot to give me money that I am, I'm ultimately buying free, um, free tokens when they hit the exchange. And that's pretty much my strategy now. Because I sold my mining rig, and that was my original intent when I built this Ethereum mining rig. But Profit Trailer gives me a hell of a lot more money than a mining rig does. So it was easier for me to just sell that. I shipped it out a few days ago. It's a beautiful rig. Like, it was super nice. And apparently, you can't even get the video cards. I probably could have gouged the hell out of the guy at the bottom. But he was super cool and very nice and very patient because it took me a week to get everything boxed up, wrapped up, and shipped. Um but uh, I, I, ended, I sold the whole rig for four grand, and I think he got a pretty solid deal on that, considering it cost me, um, well, I threw in a brand new Corsair power supply that I never even used, because I was running it off of two. Anyway, a bunch of details you guys don't give a shit about. It's not even relevant. 
So I'll shut up. Anyway, um, so let's look at this data token, and then I'll get to the profit trailer stuff in the next video. I want to try and keep these shorter um, just to see. Um, so anyway, data token, next generation video delivery powered by you. This here is their overview. Um, Theta is a decentralized video delivery network powered by users and an innovative new blockchain. They say a new blockchain, which I guess it is, but it's ERC-20, so it's 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 still like a, a, a you know an Ethereum fork, as I understand it. So that threw me off at first. I'm like, it's not really a new blockchain, is it? Um, existing video delivery landscape. Why do we need a decentralized video network? Uh, so today's content delivery network, CDN, lacks global reach, particularly in developing countries, leading to low quality streams, pauses, and skips. Not only that, but if you're in Kentucky, it's still a problem <laughs> because we don't have fiber optics here yet still, um, at least where I live, and I'm very close to Cincinnati. I'm right across the bridge. Like I tell people I live in Cincinnati, but for the sake of the videos, I tell everybody Kentucky because I don't want to look like a liar. Uh, but yeah, I'm like 10 minutes from downtown Cincinnati. Uh, high cost structure paid for by platforms and publishers, leading to less revenue to content creators. Centralized and controlled by a few entities. Growing problem, 60%, 67% of all internet traffic today is video, estimated to jump to 82% by 2020, and I absolutely believe that. L uh, live and peer-to-peer -peer streaming is exploding. Move towards 4K and emerging VR light field quality pushes more data. And now this is the kicker for me. It's VR because I, you know, there's a movie coming out that got me so charged up and I don't even remember the damn name of it now, but it's, it, 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 I saw the previews when we went and watched the new star Wars movie. Some of you guys have to post it in my comments because I know you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's basically this movie about this virtual reality world. Cause like the real world is in shambles. It's like post-apocalyptic or whatever. And basically everybody lives for the most part in this virtual space where everything and anything you want to be, you want to do, like everything is virtual. And then the creator of this virtual world is dying. And he basically says, look, I've got a number of missions for you guys to go on. And whoever finishes it gets to control the virtual world. And so like all hell breaks loose. But the movie looked incredible. And, uh, but I see that as the future, probably not in my lifetime, which is like a whole other topic for me. But um, you know, we're, we're, I think we're slowly starting to get to the point where virtual reality is going to become a bigger and bigger and bigger thing. And I think especially over the next five to 10 years, which, you know, is a really kind of a long time when you talk about this, um, you know, cyberspace and time, 10 years is like a lifetime, uh, I think in a lot of ways, but I think VR is going to continue to, to, to expand and grow and offer more new things. So yeah, the more any of this technology starts preparing for the VR, the better. And I think a system like this, a platform, a peer to peer system like this is going to be what makes the, the high bandwidth and the high data usage for these kinds of developments, these technological developments, it's going to be what's going to be needed to, um, to, to allow, to, to enable that kind of stuff to grow. So Theta main features, peer to peer video network, Theta token mining at the core, true utility and usage for content creators and viewers. So you've got your content creator sends out viewer, 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 viewer. And they're basically all, the way this all works is it's kind of like they're showing in this graph. You know, you've got a content creator that go, it's, it's kind of like um, Napster, you know what I mean? And like, any, like these are BitTorrent kind of in a sense. It's just basic, you're basically connecting a bunch of people together and they're all sharing each other's bandwidth and data and they're, and because they're they're sharing, they're being paid in theta tokens for the the bandwidth and the you know the yeah the bandwidth that you're allowing other people to use on your network or on your system, and it's pretty brilliant to me. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, peer to peer video network. Where's the one thing that okay true utility? Yeah, theta tokens provide utility and and enable virtual gifting to influencers. Funding advertising campaigns, unlocking premium content, virtual goods, and more. So they're they're building their own kind of little internal ecosystem that that, that you're going to be able to use these tokens for, and I, it kind of almost sounds like the video, like a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer version of Steam, kind of, like a little bit. 
But this has me excited because now I've got, you know, close enough to 8,000 of these tokens to be happy because um, I never got into Steam. I, I was late to that game, and I'm so pissed because Steam is like six bucks now. I didn't look today, but it was like six bucks. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to pay six bucks for this. Like, uh, it might be worth 300 bucks in 2018. I don't know. But I've got other stuff that I'm spending my money on, and Theta is one of them. So, anyway, uh, let's see here. Project Roadmap. The only thing is, is that the roadmap really focuses on um 2018 which which i mean which is fine but i'm saying that a lot of the bigger stuff is coming a little later in the game in, in even in 2019 so that kind of sucks a little bit so we're going to be waiting a little while to see really big gains on this but that's okay so i crow my coins man i buy it and i i just set it and forget it um Theta Labs background. Theta Labs, wholly owned subsidiary of Sliver.tv, next generation live streaming platform for esports. Raised 17 million from marquee investors. That's pretty huge. Um, four video patents, including methods and systems for non concentric spherical projection for multi resolution view. Man, you know what? You guys in your brains, I've got a giant head and I don't have enough brain to even understand what the hell that meant. Um, but it sounded very impressive. So, you know what? You got my money. <laughs> um, the largest esports platform built around a virtual economy. One billion plus tokens circulated since launch. 50% month over month growth rate. Over 2.5 million unique visits in October 2017. Um, so, we'll look at the team a little bit. I'm probably going to butcher a lot of these names, especially if there are a lot of Asians on here. <laughs> um, Mitch Liu. Co-founder of Tapjoy, co-founder GameView Studios, BS Computer Science and Engineering at MIT. Man, when I was when I was a kid, my dream, my dream was to go to MIT. Like I wanted to go to MIT so bad. And I was I was such a tech kid. Like I got in trouble all the time. I mean, shit, from the time I was eight years old, um, up into my early teens, I took everything apart. Like I, but, but you know, while my mom and everybody would yell at me all the time for taking everything in the whole house apart, um, and I know I go off on these stupid tangents, but whatever, I'm having fun with these videos. Um, but I, I did, I took everything, I had a, a junk box, which was parts from everything, from VCRs, the blenders, the cassette tape recorders, phones, you name it. And, and I, I actually built, like my mom grounded me from my phone when I was a teenager and I used parts out of my junk box to build a new phone. And she came into my room, I don't remember what she came into my room for, but she, she heard my, a pile of junk on the floor ringing. <laughs> and then took my pile of shit out of my room. Just to, because she, she could tell that I had basically concocted a phone with some of my old phone parts and just a bunch of shit. So anyway, um, but my dream was to go to MIT, man. I, 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 I did. I gave up on that because I just, I don't know. I got, I actually ended up moving to a city that, I don't know, it was pretty rough. And I don't know, I was more interested in saving my ass after school every day and focusing on studies. Uh, so anyway, MBA, Stanford Graduate School of Business. I mean, the guy, you know, kudos to you, you big brain shark, you. Ryan Nichols, head of product, product and platform. Uh, product visionary for one of the largest esports live streaming platforms built around a virtual economy. Director of Tencent WeChat. Co-founder of leading live streaming platform for foodies. Uh, I know that, I don't think that, I think that must have been an advisor. I'm pretty sure that the co-founder co of YouTube or something is involved with this to some degree. I, got, I remember seeing it before, but I'm not seeing it on this paper. Um, so mathematical, so ba uh, some brains, some like some really smart Asian people. I mean, go figure. They're math guys. <laughs> Sorry, stereotype alert. Uh, uh, Riz Verk, interim head of corporate development, uh, computer science and engineering at MIT. That's all I need to know, dude. Whatever. Stop bragging. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so here's a bunch of their investors. Obviously, these guys are well funded. Uh, Theta Advisors, here we go. Ah, there it is. Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube. Oh, boy. Justin Kahn, co-founder of Twitch. <laughs> like, look, I don't even need to read any more of this. Like, who gives a shit about everybody else? <laughs> no offense, people, but uh, damn. So, anticipated use of funds. Okay, cool. Thank you. You know what? Thank you, Theta Token, because I think you're going to do just fine, and I'm going to be along for the ride. 
Um, look, guys, I, I could go into some more of this stuff, but you, you get the idea. Like, I, I'm going in, and if it does dip at all, I'm probably going to buy more. I'd like to get to 15,000 of these um, before they start hitting some more major milestones. So we'll see. Like, if, it, if this thing, where is it at right now? Uh, has it changed at all? Still at 29 cents. So, yeah, I mean, I bought this at 27 cents, and it's, it's you know, it went up to 28 while I was trying to buy the damn thing because Hooby was so damn slow, and now it's up to 29 cents, so I've already made a tiny little bit of profit, and I'm good with that. So I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to start working on this profit trailer video real quick. Um, and just so you guys know, hopefully the audio is better. This is my elephant suppository with knobs. Um, you know, I took this out of an elephant that was sick, actually, uh, when I was on safari, and I turned it into a microphone. And my wife loves elephants. That's why we were there to begin with. No, that's obviously all bullshit. But um, this is my microphone, and I realized that the webcam that I bought recently, um, when I plugged it in, it reverted all my audio back to this, this damn webcam, and that's why you guys have been yelling at me about my shitty audio and buy a damn mic. I've been talking into this thing for, mo for months. <laughs> months. It just wasn't what I was using. So, and on top of that, you can't see it, but I'm also using something called voice meter to try and change my voice and to make it a little softer. But that wasn't working either because the webcam wasn't piped into this. My elephant suppository microphone was. So, um, yeah, hopefully this video will find you guys a little better in audio. Uh, let me know in the comments if it's any better. But I will leave you <clears throat> with this. And uh, you guys come here and play this little video. And, um, yeah, man, I'm all about Theta Token. I was all about it. I've been all about it. I'm glad I actually got some before it was like a buck because I, I, like, I would have been really upset if I had to buy it at a dollar. So, crow your coins, folks, and I will be back soon with some updates. I love you guys.